What is up everyone and welcome to our Barbarian Assault Defender Guide. There are no levels or quest requirements to compete in this mini game. however I do recommend having 50 based combat stats. Since you will need to have a high enough combat level for people to want to invite you to the party, this is a team based mini game. For items I recommend bringing your best defensive equipment. Since you are trying to show off that you can't survive so you can find a team. You don't need any weapons for this. I also remember you bring a hammer, a regular hammer or the encounter hammer both work and make sure the rest of your inventory is empty. Don't worry if you do not have a hammer I will show you how to get one inside the mini game. I'm using this badly made team with two defenders in order to show you guys where to place your food. Bad food is the food that's not called, good food is the food that has been called. For example worms have been called therefore they're a good food. Everything else would be bad food like tofu or crackers. You can drop either tofu or crackers or whatever the bad food is right here drop one drop three good food north of the trap then drop one good food in any one of these squares and put the rest of the good food over here in the last square then pick up the hammer and three logs then run back by the time you get back here you should have been able to kill one or two of the runners and you can hop over to the cannon if you've killed all the runners and start shooting the healers for defenders i'm gonna show you guys how i do it now grab your bait call what you need to call stand the bad spot drop a bad food stand the good spot north of the trap drop three good food stand in any of these towels drop a good food and then stand the last towel and drop the rest of the good food now pick up the hammer pick up three logs and head back to the trap stand the same towel you dropped the good food at and when you it changes like now call for meat and then drop the rest of your good food then when the trap breaks, just fix it. You don't need to pick the hammer up from right here. You can actually bring in your own hammer, but I'm just showing you just in case you don't have a hammer for some reason, you came all the way out here without a hammer. As well as the Encando Dwarf hammer works since it's an equitable hammer, you can actually save up on inventory space. So that's really good. Guide to how to get that hammer will be the top right corner now, but it's not necessary. If the runners start running past your food for some dumb reason, just lay food out to lure them back. Defenders can also one tick the runners. I'll show you guys how to do that now. Just do things normally. Grab your food, lay down your bad food, and then lay down your good food. Grab your hammer and your logs. And then head back to the same square where you dropped all your good food. On the next run, just drop all your good food. That's called right there. Just every single piece. For me, it was worms. I dropped every worm. Then get ready to walk to the east of the trap. Soon as the runner gets ready to go to join up with the group, walk to the right, and they will all die all together. It's a little hard to explain why I'm doing it, so I'll do it a few more times to show you. You just stand on top of the food. When the runners are about to stack up, stand to the east side of the trap and they'll all stack up and die together. Which saves you repairs. Then once you've killed your runners, just head over to the cannon when the collector loads it and start killing the healers. For wave 10 things are a little different for the defender. You have to drop one bad food down here, three good food up here, then spread a few good food up here, and then finally drop one good food up here. Wave 10 for defenders can get a little chaotic since the runners like to just spread everywhere. But there's a lot less runners here than any of the waves so just lure them back to the trap, it's not that bad. Once you're done, head over to the healing pool or shoot the cannon in order to kill the rest of the healers. Once everything's dead, head over to the spring and wait for the queen to spawn. And once it does spawn, stay near the spring so that you can be healed by your healer. It makes it a lot easier for him to heal you. Once you have the eggs, dunk them into the lava and then give them to your collector. And then head over to the cannon and spam the omega egg.
And that is all you need to know about the defender role. I hope this guide helps you guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Wait, before you click off the video, did you know I have a Discord where you can ask questions and request videos? Links in the description below.